Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you find the radius of a sphere when you're given the volume. So here's our sphere, and this is how many cubes, how many of these things fit inside. Uh, so for this example, uh, we have 2,304 pi cubes that fit inside of this sphere, and our goal is to figure out what the radius is. So uh, we need the formula for the volume of a sphere. So volume is equal to four pi r and cubed because it's volume and how many cubes all over three. Uh, so we're going to use this formula to get the radius from this value. So both of these equal the volume. So what we can do is set these equal to each other. So four pi r cubed divided by three is equal to 2,304 pi. Okay, so uh, one thing that, uh, there's a, a couple of different ways algebraically we could do this. Um, I like to, if I have a fraction on one side, I like to have another fraction on the other side. So I'll divide this by one, okay, so um, by that invisible one over there, and we have two fractions, so we'll just cross multiply. Uh, so this one, so this times this, one times this would just be four pi r cubed is equal to this over here, three times 2,304 pi, so let's use our, our trusty old calculator 2,304 times three is 6,912, and don't forget that pi. Okay, and all right, so let's go on to the next step to get r by itself. Uh, this is being multiplied by four and pi. Opposite of multiplication is division. So divide both sides by pi. These four cancel each other out. These pi's cancel each other out. These pi's cancel each other out. And let's go to our calculator. 6,912 divided by four is 1,728 is equal to r cubed. So now our goal is to figure out, well, to get what r, well, let's get r by itself. Uh, so the opposite of cubing something is cube rooting. So we're going to draw this uh, radical sign, but we're gonna put a little three down there for the cube root. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Unlike square rooting, instead of finding pairs, we have to find triplets. So what times what times what gives us 1,728. One thing we do a shortcut with our calculators uh, is doing this. So we're to get the cube root function, we're gonna type in the three and press second and see the square roots. Don't use this one, but use this one, the X with a square root right there. Okay, so this means that we're getting the cube root, and then we'll type in 1,728, and that will give us 12. So the radius is equal to 12. If you don't believe me, we could work backwards. So 12 times 12 times 12 is 1,728. So yeah, that's how you get the cube root right here. Um, so there's your radius. Uh, the radius is 12 yards. Just yards, not yards squared or cubed, just yards. All right. Let me show you another example. Might be a little more challenging, um, but it's all the same steps. Okay, so find the radius of the sphere when the volume is 300, is 33.51 millimeters cubed. If you notice the difference between this problem and the previous problem is there isn't a, a pi there, like that there was a pi over here, but still the same examples. So uh, if you guys remember our formula, it's four pi r cubed divided by three. 
we're going to take this formula, set it equal to the actual volume, which is 33.51. And since there's a fraction here, let's make this into a fraction by showing that invisible one. And let's just cross multiply. So 1 times all of this is 4 pi r cubed is equal to, now let's take our calculators. So 3 times 33.51 is 100.53. And uh, so next step is this is 4 times pi times r cubed. Opposite of multiplication is division. We'll multiply both sides by 4 pi. And so the 4s cancel out, the pi's cancel out. There's no pi over here to cancel out this pi, so we're going to leave that there. We have r cubed is equal to. Now, when we put this in our calculator, okay, so we're, we're going to type in 100.53 divided by, and this is an important step. Put an, a parenthesis here and then type in the four and the pi and then close in that parentheses. You want this, this number to be divided by this uh, product. If you don't put a parentheses here and just put divided by four pi, you'll get a totally different answer because you'll get this divided by four and then multiplying it by pi. Uh, so this guarantees your order of operations or what you want, uh, you, you want, you want the answer to be so, which is the correct answer. And just press enter. And then you'll get this number, 7.9992321515. So we're not done yet. Uh, so we want to get rid of this cube. And the opposite of cubing something is cube rooting. So we're gonna draw this radical symbol with a little three for the cube root. We're gonna do the same thing, find the cube root of that. So the radius is, so we're going to again press, uh, we wanna get the cube root, so we're going to type in a three and press the second function and get this little square root symbol, well root symbol with an X. So this will give us the cube root and then press second and answer the answer button. Okay, so that takes this value and puts it right here for us and press enter. And our answer would be approximately 1.99999. Three six zero one uh, millimeters. So there you go. There's your radius of the sphere when you are given the volume. Hope that helps. Good job. Have a great day.